When we pitted the F-22 against Russia's universally extolled aircraft, the Su-35, the conclusion we came to is that the planes are so different in design and capabilities that they are difficult to compare. The F-22 is a different beast altogether, though, and a machine that is largely seen as the ideal foe for the Su-35. The Su-35 is at least equal if not superior to the very best Western fourth-generation fighters. We'll start by taking a look at the Su-35. This single-seat, super-maneuverable, multi-role fighter flew its first flight in 1998 as a prototype, but didn't appear in its present form until 2007 when it was revealed to the public at the Russian MAX 2007 air show. While the U.S. military believes it has the greatest combat aircraft, the Russian military of defense has also made such a claim with its Su-35. 58 have been built overall and many more have been ordered, with each unit costing somewhere between 50 and 75 million dollars. It's thought that the cost to fly the plane for one hour is around $35,000. Unlike the F-22, which cannot be exported due to laws in place to protect its high-tech features and stealth capabilities, the Su-35 is up for sale. A handful of countries have expressed interest in buying the aircraft, but so far only China has shown the money, ordering 24 planes for a cost of around $2 billion. Now we turn to the F-22 Raptors. This fifth-generation advanced tactical aircraft, according to the United States Air Force, is unmatched as an air superiority fighter. Designed by Lockheed Martin, it took its first flight in 1997 and formally entered the service of the U.S. Air Force in 2005. 195 F-22s were built overall, 8 test and 187 operational aircraft, with a unit procurement cost of a staggering $350 million. This supreme flying machine was not only far more expensive to build than anything of its kind, but according to Air Force cost and performance figures, it was also a veritable super consumer of dollars when in flight. The U.S. Air Force has stated that the F-22 cost around $60,000 an hour to fly, compared to the $22,500 for the F-16C Fighting Falcon and $30,000 for the F-35. While the Air Force has always been enthusiastic about what it believes is the best combat fighter plane ever made, it's said that restart costs might be the reason interest has turned to other developments. Here are the specifications of the Su-35 Flinker E and the F-22 Raptors. This source from CombatAircraft.com and AirForce.mil. Talking about the maneuverability, Russia based the Su-35 on the rock-solid Su-27 platform so its status as a super-maneuverable fighter is a matter of fact. Russian pilots familiar with previous generations of the Sukhoi jet family's thrust vectoring capabilities have carried out spectacular feats of aerobatic flight like the Pugachev's Cobra. On the other hand, the F-22 has a great thrust-to-weight ratio and dynamic nozzles on the turbofan engines. These mobile nozzles provide the F-22 with thrust vectoring of its own, but they had to maintain a low profile when designing them to retain the F-22's stealth edge. Possibly, the Su-35 could outmaneuver the F-22 in a classic dogfight. For their firepower, both planes are equipped with state-of-the-art missiles capable of shooting each other out of the sky. The Su-35's need to carry ordnance outside the fuselage is a slight disadvantage, but in general, the first plane to score a clean hit will win. The Su-35 can carry 12 missiles, while the F-22 carries just 8. But as Justin Bronk from the Royal United Services Institute notes in an interview with Hushkit.net, the Su-35 usually fires salvos of six missiles with mixed seekers, meaning the 12 missiles only really provide two credible shots. The F-22 could engage the Su-35 from farther away as it is harder to detect due to its stealth advantage, so it could potentially make more economical use of its missiles. This is where things get interesting. In the arena of stealth, the F-22 is head and shoulders above any other operational jet in the world right now. For perspective, the Su-35's radar cross-section, area visible to radar, is between 1 and 3 square meters, or about the size of a large dinner table. The F-22's radar cross-section is about the size of a marble. As Justin Bronk notes, whilst the Su-35 does have the hypothetical capability to detect the F-22 at close ranges using its IRST, infrared search and tracking, and potentially the Irbis-E radar, both sensors would have to be cued to focus on exactly the right part of the sky to have a chance of generating a target track. By contrast, the F-22 will know exactly where the Su-35 is at extremely long range and can position for complete control of the engagement from the outset with superior kinematics. 
So, the F-22 and the Su-35 proved to be two planes of significantly different eras. The Su-35 carries more missiles, can fly farther, and is significantly cheaper. The Su-35 is a reworking of earlier Sukhoi models that have proven efficacy in traditional dogfights, while the F-22 is the first ever truly fifth-generation fighter jet. Battles that occur when the two planes are within visual range of each other seems to slightly favor the Russian jet on paper, but the training and support U.S. pilots receive is second to none. So a one-on-one -on -one dogfight between an F-22 and a Su-35 would essentially be a toss-up that comes down to the particular skill of the individual pilot. But the F-22 wants no part in traditional dogfighting and, importantly, air-to-air -air encounters begin beyond visual range. A single Su-35 simply stands little chance against an F-22 because the U.S. jets employ far superior stealth technology. While an Su-35 could potentially find an F-22 at distance using thermal imaging, the limitations of those systems mean it would be like looking through a drinking straw at the wide open skies for the stealthy U.S. plane. F-22 pilots need not worry about outturning or outfoxing the agile Su-35, as they could find and target the aircraft from much farther away and end the dogfight before it starts. Historically, U.S.-made planes have battered Russian-made ones, and the newest generation of U.S. warplanes reimagines aerial combat in such a way that future pilots won't even have to get their hands dirty to deter or defeat the enemy. So, how do you think these two fighter jets match up? 